Oh, that is a beautiful deer, guy. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. Welcome back to another episode of Deer Blinds and Fishing Lines. My name is Nathan Paul. Today is opening day for a full whitetail here in Saskatchewan. And as you saw, I could have been done nice and early. Sometimes things just don't go the way we hope. Missed shots happen, bad shots happen. All we can do is take it as an opportunity to learn from it, not run from it, and realize that unfortunately, it's going to happen. Not everybody is perfect. Nobody is perfect, I should say. And when you watch a bunch of hunting shows and you see every single shot is a hit and no trailing or very obvious trailing, it really leads me to wonder whether or not that's the first shot of the day they took or the ninth or <laughs> you know what I mean? So. I accept it, it was a beautiful deer, stunning buck, nice and early in the morning here. It is now 10.06, chucked my stuff in the back, I'm gonna go and get a coffee. <laughs> and then we'll get uh, back at it this afternoon. So maybe do a little driving around, scouting, see what I can see. Aside from that, I'm gonna warm up a little bit, go for a coffee, and uh, I'll see you guys when we get back out. All right, we've had some lunch, we've had a coffee, we're revitalized. We're gonna get back out there and we're gonna get it done this afternoon. I'm gonna head back to my spot, get my gear on and uh, we'll head out. We'll see how it goes and hopefully we'll get a buck on the ground. I'm feeling better. I've come to terms with the shot. I still would have loved to have that buck, but you know what? It just wasn't fated to be, so. I'm going to head back to my spot, get geared up, and we're going to go see what we can't see. We'll see you when we get there. You know, by far one of my favorite animals to come across while I'm out hunting is moose. There's just something majestic about them. A massive animal with a massive set of paddles on the side of its head. I could look at them all day. They say a picture says a thousand words. This one says lunch. A lot of people don't like porcupines purely because of what they've done to their dogs. Myself, I enjoy watching them scurry around a bush. It's entertaining to say the least.
southern Saskatchewan whitetail. Three weeks of long hunting during muzzleloader and shotgun season. First day of Saskatchewan rifle. We got it done. We're gonna drag it back to the truck, get it field dressed and tagged. It's been a good day, it's been a great season. See you when it's ready to cook. Thank you, Buck Knives, for making the best knives. <laughs> Got the seal on the side, in case anybody's wondering, because I couldn't get it to write on there to save my life. These surgical masks are actually good for something. I think we're protecting from COVID. Yesterday we went out for opening whitetail. Absolutely great day, both myself and my friend tagged out. Got it done. So now, I don't know about you guys, but you can't leave the heart in the gut pile. Take it out, clean it, and I'm gonna show you a quick and easy recipe that you'd be crazy not to give a try. In the end, you don't have to use heart, you don't have to use deer, you can use whatever you want, but definitely recommend this quick, easy, simple lunch. So here we go, I'm gonna clean this heart. All right, so first things first, take the top off, the fat cap, and all the stuff you just don't want to eat. Now you could trim this out a little bit more, but there's a lot in there, and personally it's just a lot of work for not a lot of result. So from there, follow the lines, cut down the middle, opening up each of the ventricles. That. We're gonna go give them a quick rinse, clean out all the blood and clots. Be right back. So you're giving it a quick rinse. We're gonna cut it in the cubes. And then we're gonna season it quick. Really simple. Crushed black pepper. And a little bit of seasoning salt. We're gonna let that sit for a second. Then we're gonna get the other half ready. All right, so we're gonna heat a pan. Get some olive oil in there. About that much, a touch more. We're gonna get that hot, and then we're gonna get this meat in there, give it a quick sear, and then we'll move on to the next step. So now that that's hot enough, get that in, get a good sear going. And while that gets ready, we'll get the other stuff going. So my wife always buys these Uncle Ben's fast and fancy things. I mean, they're not bad. They're a nice side to go with supper. So, I mean, I don't mind it. But I like to dress them up a little bit when it's just me. So I'll show you how. All right, so while that's frying, quick and easy, put that in there. Get your other pack in. We're gonna hold off on those two flavor pouches for just a second. So now the instructions say you wanna use one and three quarter cup water per bag, however, we're gonna use a little bit less than that and you'll see why in just a second. So there's two cups. And instead of three and a half, we'll put in three and a quarter total. We'll get our flavor packages mixed in.
Now here's the secret ingredient. You're gonna take two tomatoes. Make sure they're not too hard, not too soft. Just perfectly ripe. You're gonna cut out stem face down. Same thing. Cut out the stem face down. So the reason we went with less water is there's plenty of juice inside of here. So let's get that meat. We'll get it in. All right, so now that we got a good sear on that meat, we're gonna get it in. Just like that. Add in just a splash of sesame oil for aroma. And then, this is as easy as lunch gets. Close, on, and we'll be back when it's ready. This gives us a little chance to kind of talk about a few things. This year had a phenomenal year. Bear, elk, whitetail. I've got two doe tags to go. Harvest a couple birds. It's been all in all a really good year. So I do appreciate everybody coming along for the ride. I can't wait to see more of you join. And uh, I also can't wait to hear what you think of these, well, this deer concoction that I'm coming up or that I've made right now. So we will uh, see you guys in a few moments. Before I forget, the idea wasn't mine. I did get the idea from another channel called Strictly Dumpling, and I just kind of added my own wild game touch to it. So I want to get that out there really quickly. I am using his recipe, but with a little spin. So let me know what you think. All right, so the race is done. Open it up here. Give it a stir. Let's pop those tomatoes. Awesome. Now that looks absolutely fantastic. It's all mixed together nicely. Smells absolutely amazing. We're gonna give this a second to cool and we'll get everybody dished up. Perfectly cooked little chunk of deer heart there. This is gonna be absolutely amazing. Definitely one of my favorite quick and easy recipes. Now, a lot of people like to go big and extravagant with their wild game. Myself, I've got two kids, a wife, I do a lot of the cooking. Quick, easy, tasty, filling, and semi-nutritious is always the way to go for me. So, now you can make this recipe absolutely any way you want. You can use the rice, you can add in potatoes, you can add asparagus. Really, the options are endless. Just anything that's you're okay with being boiled or steamed will go absolutely phenomenal in there. Give this a try. It's got some perfectly cooked deer heart, country wild rice, Uncle Ben's, tomato, a little bit of green onion. Again, you can put anything you want, mushrooms, asparagus, you name it, it's all gonna go great in here. Ooh, hot, but the taste is absolutely phenomenal. The heart is cooked perfectly, super tender because it had that steaming boil for for the last half an hour. The rice is perfectly cooked. You get nice light hints of the tomato. It's, if I could describe it, fantastic would be the word. So I'm gonna finish up my lunch. And I'll see you guys next time.